Polysiphonia is a filamentous marine red alga of the family Rhodomelaceae. It is found exclusively in marine habitats and is widely distributed all over the world. The plant body of Polysiphonia is uniaxial, that is one main axis, and all the others are side branches, branched, filamentous, and generally red or purple red in color. The filaments are profusely branched and consist of numerous siphon like cells arranged in definite tiers. Hence, the name given to this genus is Polysiphonia. Due to continuous branching and rebranching, the plant appears as a bush. The bush is generally small, but may reach up to 30 centimeters in height. In most species, the phallus exhibits a heterotrichous habit. It is differentiated into a prostrate system and an erect system. The prostrate system is basal and creeps over the substratum. In many Polysiphonia species, for example, Polysiphonia nigrescens, Polysiphonia arceolata, it may be multiaxial and well developed. The prostrate system is attached to some suitable substratum by many rhizoids. The rhizoids are well developed, thick walled, and unicellular. They are much lobed at the apex and form definite attachment discs. In a few species, such as Polysiphonia violacea and Polysiphonia elongata, the multiaxial prostrate system is absent and the rhizoids develop from the lowermost cells of the erect system. The erect filaments of the thallus develop from the prostrate system. The erect system is feathery in appearance and is made up of a main axis from which many branches are developed. The branches are of two types, long branches, also called branches of unlimited growth, and short branches, or branches of limited growth. The main axis and long branches consist of a central siphon, that is large central filament, of many elongated cylindrical cells, situated in a vertical row. The central siphon is surrounded by 4 to 20 smaller pericentral cells, or pericentral siphons. The cells of the central siphons and pericentral siphons remain connected with one another through pit connections or cytoplasmic connections. Hence, the complete plant body is polysiphonous in structure. In most of the species, the pericentral siphon is covered by three layers of cortical cells. They formed due to periclinal and anticlinal divisions of the cells of the pericentral siphon in the older branches. The cortical cells are also called cortical siphons and are parenchymatous in nature. They may be present in the lower part of the thallus, for example, Polysiphonia mollis, or throughout the thallus, for example, Polysiphonia crassiuscula. The branches of Polysiphonia are lateral and monopodial. The long branches or branches of unlimited growth are called long lateral branches, while the short branches, that is, branches of limited growth are called trichoblasts. The trichoblasts are uniaxial or monosiphonous in structure and lack pericentral siphons. They are spirally arranged, dichotomously branched, and fine hair-like. Due to the absence of chromatophores, trichoblasts are colorless. The trichoblasts arise on both the main axis and long branches. The short branches are deciduous. Hence, perennial species shed these branches before winter and develop again in the spring. Some trichoblasts bear sex organs and are known as fertile trichoblasts. The trichoblast develops from a single trichoblast initial. The trichoblast initial is differentiated by the oblique division of the apical cell. It is a small cell and lies two to three cells below the apical cell. The small trichoblast initial divides repeatedly to form a dichotomously branched, multicellular, uniseriate, hair-like trichoblast. The long lateral branches are similar to the main axis. They are polysiphonous, that is multiaxial, at the base, and monosiphonous, in the distal parts. The long branches develop in radial or spiral symmetry. The long branches arise from the basal cells of the short branches. In species like Polysiphonia violacea, they occur as outgrowth from trichoblast initials. The long branches develop along with trichoblasts, and after a few divisions, the trichoblasts are pushed aside. 
So, the branches of Pier 2 arise from trichoblasts dichotomously.